When it comes to technology, less is more. We want it smaller and more powerful to look better and sound better. Which is why scientists at Warwick University in the UK have invented a revolutionary new thin and flexible speaker, which actually started out life as a sheet of tinfoil and some baking paper. Well, this is essentially what we call an electrostatic loudspeaker. That means it works by converting electrical voltage to sound. A conventional loudspeaker, one of these, converts electrical current to sound. Now this, as you can see, is relatively small, which means that sound goes off in all directions. Because this is a relatively large area and all the sound resonates at the same phase and frequency, this means that it's a lot more directional than conventional loudspeakers. This material can't produce base level frequencies at the moment, so it could only really replace your tweeters. It'll also need to be driven by a different kind of amp, but on the plus side, the high voltage, low current nature of the system means it will use a lot less power than traditional speakers. And with clear directional sound that isn't being boomed out from a central stack, there are implications for this technology in lots of markets, from rock concerts, to airport lounges. It might have a small footprint, but its creators have big hopes for its potential in a global speaker market estimated to be worth around $4.2 billion by 2010. We believe that the audio-visual side, the, the sort of products we're talking about in the audio-visual, probably has a sector of about a billion dollars, and we aim to get a, a good percentage of that with this technology. So we're seeing a great interest from clients and customers, um, that, and some of them are coming up with some wacky ideas, uh, you know, adding audio to clothing, for instance, wanting to stitch this material into clothing, onto backpacks, um, into furniture, uh, using it as pictures on walls, etc. There is still plenty of work to be done to overcome the issues with frequency range and maximise the potential of the speakers. That's something in-car entertainment systems experts Alpine know all about. And with a global market of some 50 million cars a year needing speakers, there is huge potential for the technology. The problem we have is packaging, it's where we can fit those speakers in the car and that's always a, a problem from the vehicle installation point of view. This flat speaker technology will enable us to put speakers where we've never been able to fit them before. We can put them in the headlining, we'll be able to put them on trim panels and make it much easier from a vehicle design point of view. An industry always on the cutting edge of new technology is advertising. You only have to look around Ogilvy London's digital labs to realise the potential for these thin speakers in the marketing world. The iClick floor display is a good example. This heat sensitive projection reacts to the presence of people walking through it. Currently the sound blasts down from a central speaker overhead. I just think that those speakers on something like this would be really, really, um, uh, there'd be a wow factor and people would stop and listen and, and especially if there was a message involved. With so many potential applications, the makers of these thin, flexible speakers are going to have their work cut out, refining the technology to fit the demands of their eventual clients. But once production can start on a mass scale, Warwick Audio believe they can bring the cost of manufacturing down to as little as $16 per square metre. That's a price point that the speaker market is probably going to like the sound of.